So for the last month or so, I've been working in the emergency department, and one thing has been consistent. No matter what time of day, lunchtime, afternoon, evening, 3.30 on a Tuesday morning, America, we're fat. We are out of control, everybody that walks in there. If this is news to you, then shame on you. The obesity epidemic has been going on for way longer than the COVID pandemic. Pandemic didn't help, of course, but in general, we just consume way too much. It's the truth. So earlier today, I was doing my due diligence as a soon-to-be healthcare provider. I used all the medical training I'd acquired over the years to research innovative ways that we can stop consuming. And I stumbled on this video here. A man who lives without water and food. Okay, what? YouTube, you've done it again. I am intrigued as hell. Forget all that calorie cutting, keto diet, vegan, all that nonsense. Just stop consuming all together, right? I mean, let's watch it. I am pumped. Let me explain what is breatharian. A breatharian is the one who eats or drinks very little or none at all. A breatharian replaces physical food with air and light as well as metaphysical nourishment. I know it's- <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so breatharians, they use air and light. So he's a tree. He's a tree person, literally doing photosynthesis. That's amazing. Sounds unbelievable. That's why we decided to do a fast and spend a day in the life of a breatharian, Mr. Eltom El Amin. I have been living a breatharian lifestyle for the last 20 plus years. And for the last two plus years, I haven't eaten or drinking anything. Now my day starts really early. Wait, wait, wait. Did he just say for the last two years he hasn't eaten anything? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this dude does not look like someone who hasn't eaten for two years. This dude is shredded and muscular. So when humans go into starvation mode, we first burn fats and then we burn muscle. Our body literally wastes away. You see noticeable changes in your cheek and jaw muscles, your arms, your thenars, which are the hand muscles. The skin turns pale and it starts peeling and then you might get swelling in the hands and feet. That does not look like this guy. Two years? I don't see any of that there. This guy is shredded. So how do you start your day? Well, to start my day, first of all, I don't sleep much. Okay. So let <laughs> So he doesn't eat, he doesn't drink, and he doesn't sleep. What do you do all day? I feel like those are like three of the most basic human needs, like hunger, thirst, and sleep. But I guess if we can eliminate those things, then... Okay, he might be onto something here. And nature gives off what you call negative ions. Right. And that's a, harsh, uh, a high charged particle. Right. And that nourishes the body, it's good for the health. Yep. So just coming out here, I'm nourishing myself. Plus we got the sun just coming up in the daytime bringing down all this cosmic energy. And it's not too hot yet, so this is a good time to come for a walk. Yeah. And uh, that's nourishing the body. Mm. But last but not least, we got this connection to the earth. Mm. Now I'm also on my uh, barefoot journey. Mm -hmm. so, and this is fantastic for, just for me to go, go uh, through this. Yeah. But anyway, there's energy that's always coming up from the earth into the body. It could even be measured like 528 hertz. Mm. And these electrons is coming up through the earth. That's also nourishing the body. Yeah. So I'm making this connection to the earth or what we call grounding or earthing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I come out and take advantage of all these different forces right. so that I could, my, my organism, my body could be a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of things were just said there. And to be honest, I don't think I know enough to refute everything he's saying, but I'm, I'm pretty suspicious. There's really only one nutrient that humans, not tree people, can absorb from the sun, and that's vitamin D. When sunlight hits our skins, it causes a series of chemical reactions that turns pre-vitamin D into active vitamin D, which we can use in the body to regulate our calcium levels and improve our bone health and things like that. But that's it, and it's not even the only way that we can get vitamin D. You can eat green leafy vegetables like spinach and kale or a lot of fortified dairy products now contain vitamin D. The terrible thing that too much UV rays from sunlight has been linked to is an increased risk for skin cancer. So... Well, the Qigong that I chose for my practice is called Jam Jong, hmm. which is standing like a tree. Hmm. Just like how a tree is standing still, all you gotta do is just stand still hmm. in certain positions, yeah. and um, your body will... All right, it's confirmed. The, this is a journey to becoming a tree. Okay, so for a good middle portion of this video, there's an interview between Injaris, who's the host of this YouTube channel, 
and Elatim, the Breatharian. Basically, to recap it all, the Breatharian lifestyle is a holistic journey. You can't just start fasting food and water and expect to attain the energy state of a Breatharian master, like Elatim. Apparently, some people have died trying, which is never a good look for a health trend, but needless to say, it's a process that you really have to commit to. But what this holistic journey he speaks about actually entails is still unclear. Seems to involve a lot of meditation and yoga and swimming. I 100% support and agree with the value of meditation. I think that most of us actually don't carve out enough time intentionally to care for our minds. And there's actually plenty of science out there that supports the benefits of meditation for our mental health and just for health in general. So yeah, I really do like that aspect about the breatharian lifestyle, although it doesn't have to do with the real issue, which is the food and water. And basically to wrap up the interview, Injaris gives this nice one-liner to summarize everything that they talked about. Once and for all, breatharian doesn't mean that you stop eating and drinking. That's not what it is just about. There's a whole, uh, multiple angles to it. There, it's a whole lifestyle. It's a holistic lifestyle that you need to follow. Okay, so the rest of the video is just a montage of Ella team going swimming and taking a mud bath. Man, after watching this video, I have so many questions. As a student of medicine, we're groomed to respect different spiritual beliefs and cultural backgrounds and try to understand, you know, that people come from different places and have different values. That being said, I feel like Injaris completely failed to address the eating and drinking question that was in the title of this video. When was the last meal you had? Do you really drink nothing? Not even like a birthday corona on the sandy beach here? Like, come on. Like, he never really answered what not eating and drinking has anything to do with living a holistic lifestyle. But aside from that, my burning question from all of this is, is this guy healthy? Like, can we get some lab work or some vitals or something? Like, how is he getting the nutrients and vitamins he needs to survive. So there are nine essential amino acids that you can only get from eating food, hence the word essential. So if you don't eat, then you can't get those. How has he not gotten like scurvy or something, you know? I'm very curious to know how his body has responded from a health perspective. You know, if everything checked out and his labs looked okay and he was healthy otherwise, I, I guess I have no problem backing this lifestyle. Like overall, I do like his message about a holistic approach to life and meditation and, I mean, he seems like a really genuine and charismatic guy. And obviously I don't wanna judge a man too harshly on just one video out of context and a spiritual practice that I really don't know anything about. But honestly, by the end of this video, there are still way too many unanswered questions for me. Let's, uh, let's see what some of the comments have to say. Complete bullshitter, way too buff. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's actually the thought that I had earlier too. He slept for two hours, doesn't eat and drink, and yet looks relatively healthy. There is something misleading here. That's what I thought too, man. That's what I said. Still don't understand how he's gone without eating or drinking though. Yes, that's, yes. After the interview, he stopped at Popeye's for a sandwich with fries and a soda. Went home and slept like a log because tomorrow he's got another interview and can't show up hungry and on an empty stomach. Follow? <laughs> I can just imagine like during the day, Ella team is like, Hey man, I forgot something uh, something in my car. And he goes over there and there's just like a, an extra large pizza, like a Domino's pizza, <laughs> just in the back seat. Wow, is no one in the comments curious about his physical health? I guess I am a medical student that I care about that, geez. All right, so bottom line, main takeaways here, probably not the easiest trend to get behind to fight the obesity epidemic, but I think there were some valuable ideas that were shared here. And I respect that. All right guys, that's it for this one. Uh, first time filming this style of video, so if you liked it, drop a comment below, you know, let me know what you thought, smash that like button, subscribe and everything, and I'll see you next time.